Hello and welcome to Mustaq Kunnur Academy. In this session, uh, we shall discuss about a stable multi vibrator using IC triple five seven. Sorry, IC triple five. In this video, we shall discuss how to create its schematic. That is a stable multi vibrator schematic, and from schematic, how we can convert this schematic into layout. As we can see that this is the schematic diagram of a stable multi vibrator using IC triple five. Using this schematic. we have to create the layout of the a stable multi vibrator for this we shall use a software called dip trace i have opened it and i have for the sake of convenience i have already drawn this circuit or a schematic in this video i will show you how to choose these components some of the students finding the difficulty to select these components let's see how to select those components first of all i will show you how to select this triple five ic in order to select the triple five ic just go to filter here and select all library and type it as triple five and apply filter once we apply it as a filter on my left hand side we can see that different components appears in this list we have to select the triple five ic let's select this ic from this list here i have already selected a ic that is triple five that is ne triple five i will show you how to select that okay the selection filter process is over here here we can see that i have selected ne triple five p this component we have to select the same ic i have selected and placed here and i have constructed circuit with the help of this i have delete this now for a stable multi vibrator we need two resistors and two capacitors and as per this circuit diagram as per this circuit diagram i have constructed a a stable multi vibrator once we construct this circuit here we have to choose a power supply that is vcc for that i have taken the vcc from net ports here in the net port cancel the filter go to net port here in net port we have to select the vcc once we select the vcc here we'll get the symbol of vcc but we won't get any pattern but here we won't require any pattern since we have connecting the power supply directly to the pin number 4 and 8 hence simply select the vcc symbol once we select the vcc and connect a circuit diagram as per given in this schematic now once we draw this circuit now it's time to convert this schematic into layout in order to convert this schematic into layout go to file go to convert pcb once you click on convert pcb that opens the pcb layout that is dip trace software's pcb layout click on okay here we can see that the different uh, footprint of different components first of all we have to select in the top layer as i have already explained in previous videos that the pcb having two layers that is top layer and bottom layer in order to align this component or arrange this component we have to select top layer but whereas whenever we want to draw uh, a traces then we have to select bottom layer first i will select it as a top layer then i will arrange this component please arrange this component accordingly that will definitely going to help to draw the traces a very simple way let's arrange this components let's zoom it here we can rotate this component as per our convenience i am using the option you can simply right click on it click on rotate or we can directly use the shortcut key that is r i am using shortcut key r in order to rotate this components and please keep these resistors wherever you want so that we can easily make the connection and also place the capacitors
ensure that no wire should overlap on each other rotate this resistors rotate this capacitors there is no hard and fast tool that you should keep components in the same way you can change it accordingly yeah we are done with this now ok once we are done with this arrangement of components now it's time to draw the traces in order to draw traces just go to bottom layer click on bottom and wherever the rat line is present the blue line is known as a rat line wherever the rat line is present there we have to draw a traces click on trace or our route manual once you click on route manual we can see that it shows the angle as well as the width of a segment <coughs> here we have to select the width of a segment here i will select instead of 0.3 i will select it as 1 mm and i will draw the trace let's draw this trace we'll begin from here and we have to draw these traces which is present in the ICs here and drawing it see to see to it that no wire should overlap on each other and the angle of angle of track should be 45 degree it should not be 90 degree please watch this video completely is definitely going to help you to draw a layout in very effective way and it will help you to optimize your circuit and we are left with the last connection we have to take this from here from here and we have to make the connection now one thing we should observe that there is a possibility of getting short between this pad and the track safer side we are going to reduce this its size I am going to reduce the track width instead of 1 mm you can make it as 0.3 mm and also make this 0.3 mm yeah now it looks good and it won't show any error if you go for any verification check design rule check where you can see that we don't found any er errors here once we are done with this layout now it's time to draw a border in order to draw the border simply go to place border outline make sure that you are in the bottom layer go to border line and draw this there are different options to draw the border lines i will show you both in this video Yeah, this is one way the another way is just simply draw a border line and double click on it or right click on it go to board point here neatly we can draw a rectangular box instead of drawing this block just click on create rectangular box and select or enter the width and height of a box here i am selecting it say 30 or 6 50 mm mostly it is approximately 50 mm no it's more than that let's make it 45 yes it is 45 mm and select the height in a negative number select we are going down hence i will make it as minus 30 yes it looks good minus 30 make it as minus 30 click on ok now we can see that we have created a rectangular box around this circuit 
वंस वी ड्रॉ दिस नाउ इट्स पुट अ कॉपर टाइम टू पुट अ कॉपर लेयर क्लिक ऑन कॉपर फोर एंड जस्ट सिंपली ड्रॉ अ कॉपर फोर वेर एवर यू वॉन्ट आई एम ड्रॉइंग इट अराउंड दिस सर्किट ओके वंस यू ड्रॉ द कॉपर फोर यू विल गेट दिस ऑप्शन इन दिस डायलॉग बॉक्स इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू सेलेक्ट द connectivity first i will select pouring fill characteristics as a solid one then we'll go to connectivity here the very important thing is connect to net which to which net we have to connect this pouring here we have different options but let's not choose this randomly we have to choose a proper net for that just go back to the schematic here check this circuit here we can see that the ground net is connected to which net just right click on it go to property it is connected to net 2 close it come back to this pcb layout select here as a net 2 and border yes you just select depending on board wherever the board or border is present accordingly the copper core is going to adjust with that click on this connectivity net 2 remember this pouring this one click okay once we are done this we can see that a beautiful and very neatly drawn schematic layout is ready once we are done with this circuit diagram or this layout now it's time to mention some name of the circuit diagram as well as the name of a components in order to write the names of components just go to top layer here and select this abc place text here click on abc and type the circuit name that is a stable or a stable multi vibrator we can also change its font size colors colors whatever you want you can also place the shapes here same way we can also enter or add a text on bottom layer just select on the instead of top just go to the bottom layer here go to abc text and enter here enter it as a stable a stable multi vibrator and suddenly it appeared okay let's place this reduce its size we have to change it we can also change its colors go to font setting here you can also change its colors make it green or some other color so that it should visible on black copper core bottom assembly yes now you can see that yes this is a layer in order to flip this text just go to weave and if here here we have option called flip text just flip it yes now we can see that this is a stable multi vibrator once we are done with this layout now it's time to take its print out so that we can fabricate this pcb on a copper clad just go to reweave preview here we can see that we have this circuit in order to take its print out for lab for laboratory experiment pcb lab we need we need only the bottom layer select the bottom layer here don't select any options click on print in black and just click on print once you click on print your hard copy is ready the layout of hard copy is ready you can take that layout and fabricate the pcb accordingly thank you